Hey everyone, Ian from the MadFab Project here. Sorry about the uh, whitewashing of everything. I'm kind of in the only spot I can keep the computer. And it's really bright outside today. Uh, so, the video today is just going to be a quick one day, one brick forge build out of an old fire brick I had laying around and uh, getting started on a stainless steel letter opener that I was commissioned to make. Um, this is just going to be part one because I have to make a few improvements to the forge before I can really bang this thing out. No pun intended. I really should have thought that one through. That's an awful pun. Um, but yeah, so let's get right into it. smart. Managed to get a big old crack right there. And I'm not liking that because this is the only fire brick I got. So I'm going to brainstorm a little bit, see how I'm going to proceed on this. First off, though, let's see how. Uh... Perfect, but it appears to be working. 
And that's on the other side, so. Maybe. I just need to. Yeah, I'm sure sharpening this file wouldn't hurt. File? Chisel. It's a chisel. It's a chisel, Ian. <sighs> sharpening this chisel wouldn't hurt. Yeah, definitely not. This thing's really dull right now. Alright, I'm gonna go sharpen this. Uh, I really don't want to buy more drill bits. But that might be the only thing I have. There we go, now we're getting somewhere. Oh, pretty cool. I'm sure that's nice and toasty by now on the inside. Can't feel much heat on the outside though, so that's a plus. We're getting there. It ain't pretty, but we're getting there. Well, yeah, definitely going to need to make some improvements, but it turned out pretty well. Uh, the letter opener itself is going to need a bit more work. I think I'm going to end up drilling a hole a little closer to the front and putting uh, more than one tank going through there. I switched to map gas halfway through because the propane wasn't heating up as much as I would like, but I'm pretty sure that if I just put two burners in there with propane, it'll heat up plenty quick and get it to where I need it to be. Um, this is, like I said, this is part one. The next video that goes up is probably going to be me resurfacing that anvil that I have. Uh, as you might be able to tell, it's not an actual anvil. It's a piece of railroad that somebody cut up and shaped vaguely into an anvil shape. I don't know. I've had that thing for years. I don't even remember where I got it. But, yeah. So, I'm going to be trying to make that a little more anvil-like instead of just, eh. It's like the anvil you would get off of Wish right now. Love and hate Wish. Anyways, thanks for spending some time with me today. Hope you enjoyed it. I hope you'll uh, be back to see what I...
come up with and whatever I do next.